What's going on guys? Jonathan here doing another JNY Tech video and if you look to my left here you should see a small screen and you're probably thinking well what the heck is that? Well I'll have you know that that is actually a small screen that I am using to monitor my PC's temps, all my graphics levels, how they're doing, my CPU load, temperatures. It's giving me all my PC stats all on one little screen. So today we're going to go over how I did it and the two options that I know of of different ways to do it. And um, all you're going to need, depending on your setup, is right here. I just got a 7-inch screen right here for Raspberry Pi. So that's a heads up. And here I have a Raspberry Pi. And what a Raspberry Pi is just a mini $35 to $40 computer that you can use for a variety of things. And that's what we're going to use for today's videos. There's two ways to do it. And all you need is a Raspberry Pi, the screen, the... Um, I bought and this one came with a few other features, came with the stand and a good amount of wires. So depending on how you want to do it, it's it, it really depends on your setup. You might not even need the Raspberry Pi. If you don't know how to use a mini computer, you don't want to use a mini computer, you don't need it. You could just spend the money on the screen and attach it through an HDMI cable. But other than that guys, I'll show you guys how I did it and I'll show you each way that you can do it and my preferred way. Without further ado guys, let's get right into it. Alrighty guys, so this is where we're going to get our software. You're going to go to modbros.com, shout out to them. They are the ones who actually created this uh, system here who started, they're the ones who made this program. And so what we're going to do is when you come to their website, the first thing you're going to see that pops up is hardware monitoring. So we're going to go ahead and click download. And so there's two things that you got to download. So you have to download the custom monitoring system for your PC. This is the server edition right here. So you're going to just go ahead and click download. And this is for the Raspberry Pi image. And you're going to click download here for those as well. And the Raspberry Pi image, you're going to want to make sure you install that into that micro SD that we showed off earlier. And that's the, because that, that's going to be your operating system. So you're going to want to download both. I'm not going to download them only because I've already downloaded them. So I'm pretty much all set up to go. So I have my software already here and ready. And so now all that I have to do is connect the Raspberry Pi and uh, it, that should finish everything else. So what you're actually going to want to do is you're going to want to go to raspberrypi.org and rather than download the Raspberry Pi iOS or OS, you're going to actually want to go under it and you'll see Raspberry Pi Imager for Windows. So once you have that downloaded, you're going to come over here to your downloads, obviously. Let's see. Double click that and you're going to begin the setup. Yes. Install. And we'll just wait for that to install. And now that it's installed, now we choose an OS and choose an SD card. So I already have mine connected. The OS that we have here, let's find it right here. Use a custom. And we have our set up. Alrighty guys, now that we have our SD card mounted and everything, sorry about that little error there. I actually had a bad SD card, so I went and uh, went and replaced that one. So now that we just got to make sure that we have Mobro version 11, 1.7Z, the SD card right here, and we just click right. And click yes. Alrighty guys, so for the setup, all we're going to do for the first part is remove that SD card once the uh, software is installed. We're just going to connect it on the three uh, on the Raspberry Pi 3B plus. It's going to be on the bottom. OK, so now that that's done, next things that we got to do is we can start connecting the monitor to it. So with that, we can use an HDMI cable, which is pretty great. And it did come with one. Alrighty, and let's undo this right here. So now we can actually start doing the actual like setup with the touch screen and whatnot so what we can start off with is to get this touch touch screen working you actually need to connect there's this that to a 5 volt wire which luckily we have here because they provided it which is awesome so you connect it through the HD um, or the USB port on the Raspberry Pi Get it connected into the screen here. As you're screwing these in, be sure not to tighten them too much. We don't want to crack anything. We don't want to ruin our Raspberry Pi. And also always make sure that when you're doing this, you're doing this 
uh, diagonally. That's the best way to make sure everything stays put in one spot and everything fits perfectly. All right, so for the sake of the video, we're not gonna cable manage yet, but this is what it looks like all connected. We got our Raspberry Pi in the back. We got our little seven inch display screen right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and let's give it a power on just to see how it works out. And I might've screwed it wrong, actually. Yep. All right, let's do that again. Hey guys, so if you check it out, we actually got it booted up. So the issue was that I needed an extractor. So like Win uh, WinWar, I believe it's called, is a good one to go with. That one will extract uh, a lot of files for you. So all I had to do was extract it and get it into the SD card using that Raspberry Pi IO um, image software, uh, the imager. That's actually what it's called. And so now it's telling us it was trying to connect to Wi-Fi, but my Wi-Fi has a password on it. So the next thing that we got to do is go straight to our um we gotta go straight into our browser and type in its we have to type in its uh, ip address so i'm gonna go ahead and type that in now Alrighty guys, so once you get it connected to the internet, I went with Ethernet, it's a little bit more easier to set up. But if you don't want all the wires, then you can definitely do wireless. And right now it is actually showing all my PC stats right now over the internet. Check that out. So my PC here is working as a server so that when I game or whenever I just want to know my PC temps, they're all right there. So check that out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording here. I'm gonna go and show, there are a few different themes right here. This is by far my favorite. It shows temps, it shows RAM, VRAM, etc. This is mainly showing my GPU right here. But I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here. Or I'm gonna stop recording for this quick second because now I'm gonna move on to the second method. Though uh, I actually prefer the second method. All right guys, so that was the first way to do it. I personally prefer another method and it's so much easier. Not that the other one was hard. It uh, really depends on your situation. My computer just really wasn't wanting to download the software. But my version, the way that I want to do it, is use the same screen. We don't need the Raspberry Pi for this one. And we just connect through good old HDMI. So I'm going to go ahead. Let's get started on it. And it's relatively simple. We just come to the back of our PC, to our graphics card. Connect an HDMI cable, just like so. All nice and connected. For cable management, just to hide the cable, at the end of the day, all cable management is, is hiding the wires. As long as the wires can't be seen, you're good. So, bring the wire back here. Let's get that and all nice and connected. And remember, at the back right here, you're going to see that there is a HDMI cable port right there. Okay, all we gotta do now is connect power. Easy peasy. All right, so let's come down and let's get connected. Ready. And another thing that I forgot to mention, just because it came with the power adapter, the wall socket doesn't mean you have to, because essentially it's still a USB cable. So this is the one that it came with, and this is the one that I'm going to use for the touchscreen, just because I want the touchscreen, because why not? If it comes with it, might as well. In the back of my PC, where it can't be seen, you're, I'm going to show you guys right now. You're going to see a good amount of wires back there. I do have a mess of wires back here, but they're hidden. I bet, I'm hoping you guys didn't see it earlier. So all we do is I'm going to be connecting these to my USB hub right here. Now, if your PC starts saying that there's too much of a power draw, all we got to do is just move it to another USB port. 
Or if it really keeps on whining, we'll just connect it to a wall socket. Alrighty guys, now we just connect the 5 volt for power and the 5 volt for touch. So there's touch screen right there. Let's get that in there nice and tight. And now the 5 volt for power. Alright, and check that out guys. Check that out. We just got windows on there. We got the window screen. So now it's set up as now it's set up literally as another monitor. It's a mini monitor, if you will. And all I have to do to show my temps is just move it over. And there it is right there. Check that out. And just like that, I have my PC monitor right here. And the reason why I want it this way is because when I, when I stream, I have to use an overlay. If you see, I have, if you guys already saw, I have a one monitor setup. So this way, I have my stats right here. But if I, if I'm streaming and I want to show my chat, I have it right here on this mini screen. So I don't have to use my phone. I don't have to use an ex another PC. I don't have to have an overlay that's covering parts of my gameplay and getting me bamboozled in the end of the match. I have a mini screen right here and it, works perfectly and it's also touchscreen so i am not complaining about that at all another quick thing i'd like to add real quick before i go is since i'm using it in extended mode it doesn't have to just be computer stats um computer stats my chat it can be different things now so i just for the just for fun i kind of want to throw on some cs go real quick it's a relatively easy game uh let's go with is there local Where's local at? This is pretty crazy. It's a it's small. Obviously, I'm not gonna be gaming off of this, but it's uh it's it'd definitely be interesting to see if it's even playable. So let's give it a try. Right now, it looks like we're searching. Right now, is there local play? I can't find local play. Okay, we're loading in. I can't believe we're actually playing off of a like seven inch monitor. If you guys are liking these Raspberry Pi videos, uh, comment down below. Uh, give us, let, you know, let me know if you guys want to see any more of these because this is fun. Oh, did it crash? Oh no, I think it crashed. Oh wait, no, 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 it's going. Oh, it's going. Okay, here we go. We're actually in the game. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh. So this, I mean, obviously it's not the best, but it's definitely playable. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm actually playing off of a 7 inch monitor right now. This is whack. Okay, we're moving. We're moving. I would not recommend actually playing off of a 7 inch monitor, but if you had no choice, it is definitely playable. It's not the best, but it is definitely playable. Especially if you're on the go and you just want to PC game it. This is definitely a viable option here. Take this, take this. Okay, I should probably stop gaming it because I should finish this video around now. -ish. Alrighty guys, so shoot a like, subscribe if you can. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see more of these Raspberry Pi videos. If you guys want to see more of, uh, if you guys have any suggestions, uh, let me know. And let me know what your guys is set up. If you guys have a specific way, if you guys don't really mind if you have overlays during your streams, if you do stream, or if you guys have a particular like way that you guys see your stats, like do you care, do you do it during an overlay? Do you stop and just switch windows? Let me know down below in the comments, guys. And thanks again for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and have a good one.